So us as busy moms, we can always take the extra help that we can get. And today, y'all, I'm going to be showing y'all the Ecovacs D-Bot N10 Plus Robot Mop and Vacuum Combo. So the vacuum has a 3800 PA power suction. So that equals a big suction power, better clean. It also has a floating main brush and a rubber brush. And the mop has a Osmo mopping system. It also detects your carpet, y'all, so you don't have have to worry about that. It is also a hands-free dustbin cleaning. It comes with a 2.5 liter disposable dust bag, holds up to months of dust and debris, which is a great tool. So this little tool is actually user-friendly. You can use an app to control it. You can also use your voice for a hands-free control with Google Assistant or Alexa. It also has a true mapping technology. So right now it is going to be mapping out my house. It's going to be the first time that it's going to be um, running here in my house so it's going to go in every little room every little corner and it's going to map out where it can go and where it cannot go so this part may take a bit longer but the next time it won't I also love the fact that I can be at the grocery store and want to have a part of my house vacuumed and mopped and I can go ahead and turn it on and have it do that for me while I'm away and then I come home and I have a nice clean mopped floors so I've definitely been enjoying having the extra help keeping my floors nice and clean I love that my floors are always clean I hate when I'm walking barefoot and I get stuff stuck on the bottom of my feet and I love the fact that you can vacuum and mop both at the same time and one thing that surprised me all is really good on tough stains when it comes to mopping so that is a huge plus so right now would be a great time for you to purchase one it will definitely be worth it so so I will have a discount code for you down in the description box also a link that will take you right to the product and make sure to take advantage of that discount code if you have a friends and family that would be interested in a Ecovacs Zbot N10 plus robot vacuum be sure to let them know it is Jesse approved and y'all just like that after it is it is done it is going to go ahead and go back to its charging station that is where it's going to be self cleaning itself and how awesome is that not only is it helping you clean but it's cleaning itself as well I really love this little handy robot vacuum and I'm so excited to actually have some extra help around the house and I also want to thank Ecovacs for sending me the Dbot N10 plus I truly love it all right y'all so here we are with a Walmart grocery haul so this is the stuff that I picked up for the week let me go ahead and show you what I have here and then I also have some stuff behind me on the table so right here y'all I have a couple mocha iced coffees this is what my husband likes to drink it's just easy for him to grab and go when he goes to work um, i have a no bake oreo cheesecake and then i also got some apple butter my husband and my son absolutely love apple butter so um, i thought that would be a nice treat because we haven't had it in a while and then i also picked up some sugar-free stuff for me y'all sugar-free strawberry preserves um, it is sweetened with splenda so i am going to be you know of course strictly strictly gluten-free and i'm going to cut down a lot on the sugar as well trying to heal my body um, from all of the inflammation so that's the reason why you will see some sugar-free stuff in here i also picked up some creamy peanut butter and then i have not tried this yet but comment below and let me know if you have i know this is really popular i see a lot of people talking about it and it's also gluten-free. I wanted to try something a little bit different. I'm going to be having like a lot of grilled chicken that I'm going to be grilling up here um, at the house. So I just thought, you know, just different seasoning, a different taste just to make food a little bit more exciting since I'm doing um, a lot of different um, ways of eating. So I'm excited to give this a try and see how it is. I have some sweet corn. I have a, I think about four cans of sweet corn here. And then also, y'all, I was craving this, and I thought this would be really good for one of our meals. So this is sliced pineapples, and what I like to do is I like to grill them with a little bit of cayenne pepper. If you haven't tried it, oh my gosh, y'all, it's so good. Um, we usually do it with the fresh pineapple. I haven't tried it with the can, but I'm sure it's still going to be good. I just didn't want to get the fresh just in case I didn't know, you know, I didn't know what meal I was going to have it with, and I didn't want it to go bad. So this way, they're just going to be in the can. Um what else oh so i got some dressings here so i don't know why this one ended up in my cart oops i don't really know why this one ended up in the cart but it did so it says the hidden valley original ranch 
And then I got a couple of skinny girl ones. And the reason why I got these y'all because they are gluten-free and sugar-free dressings. So I'm excited to give these a try and see how these taste. So I got the poppy seed and then I also got the raspberry vinaigrette. So I'm excited to give them a try and see how they are. I also got some leaf spinach. I'm going to be the only one eating that because, you know, my family don't really eat a whole lot of veggies like I do. I like all of my veggies. I don't think there is a veggie that I don't like, y'all. I have some cilantro here. I thought this would be good to make some pico to have on the side to eat with some of my foods. Also, I'm going to be making some cilantro lime rice. I'm to be eating my husband and my son. I got them some chicken patties. Well, mainly my son's going to eat them. I think my husband likes them, but for there's some chicken sandwiches it'll be something easy for my son to eat for lunches and then i have a big bag of zucchinis i we love zucchinis me and my husband so i got a big bag of them we're going to be having them fried on the side of some meals and baked so i cannot wait to have some of those i also got some um, mini persian cucumbers and then i also like this one too um so i got some of both i have a bag of some baby carrots some cauliflower and a bag of onions because i was running low i don't even know if i have a onion left so i needed a big bag of onions also some garlic i did order the one that was already peeled in a bag but they had to substitute it with this but this is it's just fine also i have a bag of black beans so I'll go ahead and cook that up here at the house. I try to stay away a lot from the um, canned stuff just because, you know, I'd rather make the stuff myself and know what's in it. But, um, so I can do that with the black beans. But as far as the corn goes, y'all, it's just kind of hard because if I don't eat the stuff in time, it'll just go bad. So that's why I did the cans and those. Um, so I also have a thing of hamburger buns here for chicken sandwiches just some sliced bread and then I also picked up this gluten-free Hawaiian sweet it is dairy soy nut free which I am excited about trying I haven't tried this brand before and it is the Hawaiian sweet so I think it's gonna be really really good some pink salmon and some tilapia so we can have some you know baked fish with some veggies one day broccoli florets and these are the chicken patties that I was talking about. My son likes these and what he likes to do is kind of make them like a McChicken um, from McDonald's. So I'll shut up some lettuce and then he'll add some mayo to the bun and then some cayenne pepper for some heat. And the chicken patty, we'll put them in the oven and they'll get nice and crispy. So these are the chicken patties, pretty good. And then a bag of asparagus really wanted to get them fresh y'all but like I said I didn't want them to ruin because that's a big problem of mine and then Russell sprouts I love Russell sprouts I don't think my husband or my son will eat those those are just for me and then my husband does like Russell sprouts so got some of those and also for a couple dinners we got some salads so I have a couple bags of salad here and then some spinach to go with that and then one night y'all I'm gonna be doing some homemade meatloaf and I'll share that recipe with you. I don't think I've ever shared it before. So it's there's the pepper and onion blend. I also got some almond milk. For me, I love almond milk. And then also I'm going to start doing my smoothies. Um, this is a good way for me to start um, incorporating some good, um, you know, potassium. Since my potassium does run low, you have to get my bananas in for the day and just, you know, have some healthy breakfast. So I have some almond milk here with the chia seeds and the flax seed, and I will be putting those in my smoothies with bananas. So I'm excited about that. I also have some strawberries and blueberries in the freezer. And then I also picked up, y'all, this little toaster. It's like a one slice toaster, but um, I thought it was cute and it was my, um, my color the teal color that I like so I decided to grab it and for the meats y'all I have a pack of chicken breast and then we also have a pack of ground turkey so this is going to be for the meatloaf and then this is going to be just for some baked chickens and um, some chicken salads so that's what we're gonna have tonight I'm gonna have some grilled chicken salad to have some chicken breast in the fridge that I need to get out and grill up on the skillet I'll do that and then we'll have a salad for dinner 
so yeah y'all that's what i have right here here y'all on this table i have some stuff here as well so i have um 12 gallons of water that's probably probably a lot of waters but i just wanted to make sure i had enough and then also i have some um, sparkling waters here i did get a lot of those so that should be enough waters and then i got some aluminum foil some disinfectant wipes toilet bowl cleaner and then moving on over here y'all a watermelon we absolutely love watermelon i've been getting one every week and then a bag of so a pack of napkins and some bananas for smoothies so I'm going to go ahead and get all these groceries put away really quick and then I'm going to go ahead and share with you a yummy delicious dinner recipe. So I'm starting out by making my rice. This is going to be cilantro lime rice. So I've washed my rice. After measuring it, added the appropriate amount of water, put it back into my rice cooker, added some salt, olive oil, some cilantro, and I almost forget the lime juice, but um, I am going to go ahead and add in some lime juice as well. And y'all, if you haven't tried cilantro lime rice, definitely give it a try. Especially if it sounds like something you would like because it's so, so good and it pairs very well with a different meats. And also, it is a substitute for the boring white rice. So, the rice is done. I'm going to go ahead and let that cook. Now, we're moving on to the fish. So, here I have some salmon because I love salmon. And I also have some tilapia. I thought I got swai fish because that's what I like to get. But when I was doing the pickup order, I accidentally clicked on tilapia without realizing it. So I'm just seasoning it with Tony's uh, Creole seasoning and with a little bit of turmeric. That is all that I'm doing, just keeping it very plain. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven, bake it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make some homemade black beans. So I've washed my beans, now they're boiling. I'm just gonna go ahead and start seasoning. Now I want these beans to be flavorful. So I'm adding some onion powder, garlic powder, some paprika, a little bit of chili powder, salt, black pepper, all of the good seasonings, y'all. So I'm making sure it's all seasoned. And then I'm actually going to be adding in some cilantro and half of a jalapeno that does not have the seeds in it because I don't want it super spicy, but I want it to have just a teeny tiny bit of a kick. And I'm just going to let it cook. After it's cooked for a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and add in a, a little bit of my um, onion and bell pepper mix because I want it to have so much flavor. And y'all, let me tell you, it tasted so good with the um, onions and bell peppers in there as well. So if you like all of the ingredients and you want to give this a try, definitely add it all in there. You want to make sure you keep your eye on it and add water to it um, until the beans are completely done because you don't want it to burn. So for a side, I'm also making some grilled pineapples with cayenne. Now I went overboard with the cayenne here. The kitchen was really smoky, so do not do this. Um, but next time I would just grill it and then sprinkle it with some cayenne pepper at the end um, because it got the house very smoky. We were coughing. It was just horrible. So, But that was um, all that I made for a dinner, y'all. It was super good. And this is what my plate looked like, y'all. Very, very yummy and delicious. Oh my goodness, and it smelled so good. I was so ready to sit down and dig in. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next one. All right, bye, y'all.